Hey besties, it's Nancy and welcome to my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel just yet, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. So yes guys, if you read the title of the video, I did get surgery, I did get a BBL. And honestly guys, I am so freaking happy with my results. This has probably been one of the greatest things that I have done for myself till this day. But I do wanna start off by saying that I am in no way, shape or form trying to promote surgery, trying to encourage anybody to get surgery. I am just basically showing you guys my experience because this is something that I have been wanting for the longest time since 2018 and I'm so freaking happy that the time is finally here. So if you are sensitive to things like this, plastic surgery, if you don't agree with it, please click the hell out of this video because this video is not the one for you. And girl, before you decide to leave that hate comment, let me just go ahead and stop you right there. Do not even think about it. Just go ahead and click off of this video. There is no hate comments needed around here. Positive energy only. Go ahead and go do something better with your time instead of leaving that mean comment. And negative to the side, I do want to say thank you so, so, so much to every single person that has shown me so much love, that has wished me well, and that has just congratulated me on TikTok and Instagram. If you are not following me on social media, I did announce that I was going to be posting this video. So make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter so you can keep up with me. Um, I do post daily i'll go ahead and leave the links down below in the description and i'll also post them somewhere in the screen so you guys can so you guys can know what my usernames are so i am currently five weeks post-op i decided to wait a little bit longer before posting this video just because i wanted to give myself some time to heal and actually you know go through the process myself instead of sharing it with the world right away because i know that surgery is definitely a roller coaster there's good days there's bad days there's days that you're like oh my god i'm seeing no progress there's days that you're like oh my god my results are amazing. I just wanted to go ahead and take this in all by myself. I'm actually really happy to be sharing it with you guys finally. So yeah, if you guys want to see my experience, then click that subscribe button before we start, girl. And let's go ahead and go on with the video. We just got to Austin and we rented out an Airbnb. Luckily, I was able to find like a full apartment to ourselves. It's like a little studio. It's actually kind of nice. We're just dropping off our bags because I have to go to my appointment right now for my pre-op. And by the way, this is the way that you're going to see me throughout this whole video because I do not bring an ounce of makeup because there's no reason. There's no reason to wear makeup. I'm literally going to be feeling like shit, so... Literally, anytime we go anywhere, already late, and she's outside taking pictures. <laughs> I'm saying you're already late, but you don't care. You're out taking pictures no, instead. I'm, I'm here, guys. Look, let me show them over there. I've been out of my actual appointment for like a couple of hours now. Right now, we're going to go get my prescriptions and just uh, some food. Me and Eric can eat tomorrow, so we won't have to like do takeout because they do say that we have to feed the fat, but like good food not like junk food like fast food and stuff like that so we just got back from heb and we got a lot of these meals they're already prepped they're pretty cheap i mean it's like if you were to go to like a fast food six dollars so i hope that they taste good we got a couple of them we have some more down there too and then we got some eggs huevo con chorizo got this jugo de piña and then some crushed pineapples apparently pineapples are supposed to be good for you for surgery and i got some chicken noodle soup only for tomorrow because they have a lot of sodium and i don't want to swell up so i just got one for tomorrow because i know i'm probably not going to be able to keep anything down we got some tortilla some pedialyte some more of the meals right there heb literally always hooks it up like literally we're gonna eat so good enchiladas I do want to share this with you guys because I thought it was pretty special. So whenever I was up and getting ready to go to surgery, it was a surgery day, I noticed that whenever I, you know, picked up the phone, the time was 4.44 a.m. And if you guys don't know about angel numbers, you should definitely look it up. So whenever you see a number repeatedly, that's what an angel number is. And they all have different meanings behind them. The angel number 444 is usually a message of love and encouragement from your garden angels. Often, it literally means that your garden angels are near and available to help you also the number 444 is the universe encouraging you to take action so this kind of just like made me calm my nerves down because i believe in stuff like this and so that kind of just gave me like a sense of reassurance and encouragement and just basically like you know that everything was going to be okay good morning i'm literally so swollen i just woke up it's 4.44 in the morning and I have to bathe myself with some easy scrub. 
It's like a antiseptic, so I have to wash all my body with this, and then I have to head over there because I have to be there at 6 a.m. and the location is about 20 minutes from here. So this is my before. Not terrible, but not comfortable with it. I haven't been comfortable with it in forever. I'm gonna change soon. This side. Sorry that it looks so like disgusting, but I am all dressed. I have my IV on me and I got marked up already. I saw the doctor, I'm just waiting to actually go into surgery. So getting straight out of surgery, I was so gone guys. Whenever they were trying to put me into the car, I thought it in my head and I said, no, I'm good. Like I can get in because they were struggling to get me in. And later on, Eric tells me, you didn't say a single word. So that's how gone I was. So we did rent out an Airbnb and we stayed there for pre-op night. And then for surgery day, we didn't realize that it was going to be an issue because the apartment complex was on the third floor. Eric was really quick and he automatically booked a hotel room straight out of surgery. So I could stay there because he was like, if I try to get this girl up three pairs of stairs then there's no way that she is going to like make it up there she's either gonna faint on me or I'm gonna drop her and so I'm really really grateful that he ended up booking a hotel for me because honestly guys I feel like I would have fainted if he did try to get me up those stairs so we ended up liking that hotel room and we canceled the Airbnb and rented additional days for that hotel room <laughs> Eric was also a little bit freaked out because he had never seen me that way so out of it and so he called my mom so my mom did go from Houston to Austin to help take care of me and help Eric out. So whenever I was in the actual hotel room, I literally slept for a couple of hours until I finally got up and was able to eat something. I hate to do this, but you told me to. How you feel? <laughs> like shit. Do you regret your decision? Um, I mean, kind of. I can't say just yet. It's fucking painful and terrible. Like, you feel like complete shit. But if I'm being real with you, you don't even look like yourself. No? Your eyes are so puffy and your cheeks look so, like, puffed up that you don't even look like yourself. I can't, like, I can't walk. It hurts to walk, to get up, to lay down. Like, it hurts to walk. I'm starting to feel better now, but as soon as I got up, fuck no. Dude, I don't even know how we got you in the car. So I'm making myself and Eric some bottles on the so I feel a lot better. I got up earlier and I literally threw everything up, y'all. It was so terrible. Eric was about to throw up with me. <laughs> so I was like, it's okay, I got it. You look Korean right now. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I was like, holy shit, I'm either gonna faint or throw up. And I threw up. But I'm alright. I feel better now that I threw up. Solo que salió era la chica no too. Like, enteras. So I was like, what the fuck? You better not throw up that huevo. Show my little office real quick. So straight out of surgery, you automatically think, oh my god, why the fuck did I do this to myself? Why did I get myself into this? You just have to remember like, hey, pain is temporary and this is not, you know, what you're gonna feel forever. A couple of hours pass and I feel so much better. I feel 75% myself. I feel like less nauseous. Um, I'm actually taking my pain meds and stuff like that. I feel like I'm very pain tolerant. So I think my level of pain i would rate it at about a four or a five everybody is different of course but that's just how i felt <laughs> so my mom came to the rescue and she brought me an andadera what is it called andadera caminadora no a walker and i have to walk around for 15 minutes like every hour eric before she brought this eric was like having to hold me um but yeah yeah, this is the reality of uh, getting a freaking surgery. And how do you feel? Surgery. Um, at first, I was like, holy shit, what the fuck did I do to myself? Like, did I really just do this? Like, why the fuck did I choose to do this? But now it doesn't hurt. Like, I'm fine. The first couple of hours were rough, but obviously it was like... On a scale of 1 through 10, what does the pain feel like? I'm very high pain tolerant, so I would probably give it like a 4. I feel like you're lying because you're complaining about getting off the bed just now. Well, yeah, like whenever I do like certain movements, like certain parts hurt. But other than that, like 
right now that I'm walking around, I'm fine. Like, I feel like perfect. Other than the fact that I'm like corvada. Am I supposed to record your diaper too? <laughs> Like at what? 8.30. Nobody wants to sleep with me because I'm going to get them dirty with blood. So this is my bed. Okay, so I'm going to post-op. I'm going to get one massage today and I'm going to see the doctor. I just saw my results and oh my god, guys. I'm like, oh my god, I look so good. I feel like the massage is going to be very painful. I did take two uh, Tylenol codon T3 medications. So hopefully they do their job, but I'll see how that goes. So post-op day is the day that you get your lymphatic massages. And overall, I feel like the surgery itself, like you walking around right after surgery, stuff like that, is a pain level of four. You do have some pain, but you have your pain medicine. So, you know, you're feeling like, okay, but guys, the pain level, whenever you're getting your lymphatic massages, I kid you not, it goes from a four to a seven because they're literally pushing on your belly which is a very sensitive area because you just got surgery there and even with the painkillers the pain does not leave um but obviously you're just getting your massage for about an hour so you just have to handle it for an hour i just got my massage oh my god it was so fucking painful you guys you feel so lightheaded and like you want to throw up but i mean i didn't i'm fine right now but still i'm just like holy Crap, what did I get myself into? Jeez, I li like literally you just feel so like, oh my god, I'm either gonna faint or throw up. But you're fine. This is my second massage. Um, my In second, one day. yeah, one, this is post-op day. Whenever really they were rolling me out. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wasn't like, I didn't know, I couldn't open my eyes or anything as soon as like I got out. Yeah. And then uh, I was talking to the nurse whenever she came out. Uh -huh. And uh, it wasn't until later that Nancy was telling me, oh yeah, I told y'all about this and that when whenever y'all were putting me in the car. And I was like, no, actually, you didn't say anything. <laughs> so, so, she was still under the Yeah, so she, was still, she was thinking everything, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I, I really thought I was saying something, and Eric was like, you didn't tell me anything. I was like, anything. what? I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, I must have been thinking it. I thought I said it. Now the Anastasia will do that to you. Yeah. This is my life now for at least three to six weeks. Literally all I've been doing is like laying down and eating, trying to eat like good food. For anybody that like ever does this, you see in this area right here, um, we put a shower curtain. If you're gonna be staying like at a hotel or Airbnb, we b I bought a shower curtain that is antibacterial and then I just Sorry. put it, took off all the ones from the hotel, and then I put my own um, cobija. These are the hotel's like pillows, but obviously if you don't get anything done like up here, you're not gonna get them dirty. So just, yeah, just make sure not to put your butt on these. And then that's what I'm laying on, puppy the pads. puppy pad basically. And then I'm just putting on my own cobija on top. Today I've been draining a lot, all right? Yeah. I'm draining so much, y'all. What, what are you making this video for? YouTube. So, you're not gonna tell everybody you went to the gym? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'm just ass, though. People aren't gonna believe that it was the gym. You guys should have seen my waist after the massage, but it was so bien chiquita, la cintura. My waist got like super small. I was like, like this thin. Como? This thin. Wow. Very thin. Watching all of these BBL videos, like nobody showed like the ugly stuff, like how to poop. Um, it, they made it actually look kind of glamorous. Like they're like, oh yeah, like it's day three and I'm feeling good. Literally, I've been draining. It's disgusting. I stink. I showered twice today and I still stink. Okay. You want another painkiller? Wait, didn't I you drink two? Even when you go, she's still. Yeah. Yeah. Sad to say, she gonna go. It's more so kind of just to like put you to sleep, huh? The painkillers. Mm. Okay. Kind of gummies. You don't have any gummies. Everybody get gummies. CBD. Yeah. Mm. Yes. 
Oh no, I don't. I didn't get him. We're I, supposed to get him, right? I know. I forgot. It's just so much <coughs> going on. If you ever think about getting a BBL, please don't do it. <laughs> what are you talking to him? Camera. Camera. Oh, okay, a therapist yeah, ain't supposed yeah, to do this, yeah. but do you want one? What is it? The gummy. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now, she's gonna pass the hell out for that. <laughs> she gonna pass over the road. She yeah, that's that's good. Get home. Oh, wow. And they're good. That's good. So, if you do get a BBL, who are you gonna recommend for the massages? Oh, Miss Joyce, for sure. <laughs> the massage therapist was really cool. She was very knowledgeable. I really did like her work because. She was just great, like she drained so much, which is what you want and what you need right after surgery. And let me just go ahead and tell you guys that that CBD gummy that she gave me was really an edible. So I was so freaking gone after a couple of minutes and my pain level went from a level seven to a level four. So I was really glad that she did give me that because it did help a lot. Also, I had had two of the Tylenol codon t3 medication so if you are ever thinking about getting i will leave the massage therapist down below if you do not like blood then please go ahead and stop this video and skip 10 to 15 seconds because this next part is going to be very graphic this is literally the reality of getting lymphatic massages i didn't show too much because the incisions that she was getting like the fluid out of was very close to my private area so of course i don't want to show that but i was able to get a scene where it didn't show like any of my private areas but it showed you know the intensity of lymphatic massages so just know that this tiny little clip that you see right here was actually an hour long so she was doing this for a whole hour and that's literally what was going on for a whole hour like whatever you're gonna see so ago i don't know six hours ago yeah we got home like at 1 p.m um i kid you not whenever i got home like i literally could feel my brain pounding to my head i was supposed to stop once every like hour to walk for at least 15 minutes but i didn't i literally just like knocked the fuck out the whole way and whenever i got off my brain was literally touching my school and then like retracting and then touching it again it was just terrible if you are planning on getting surgery i do recommend waiting at least four or five days to actually travel back home um, my travel time was two hours i did travel about two days post-op so that was definitely my fault i should have waited a little bit longer but i really just wanted to get home hey guys so i am officially five days post-op and I haven't really been filming. I was just not feeling myself. I was not feeling good. These YouTubers make it look so glamorous, but I guess everybody is definitely different. I'm very like pain tolerant, but whenever I don't feel good, I don't even want to pick up like the camera or anything. I just wanted to like be laying down in bed. I needed like assistance um, going up and down the stairs, assistance cooking, stuff like that. With the pain medication, like it makes you so drowsy. I ended up finding a massage therapist here in Houston, which that's who I'm gonna keep going with, which is pretty funny. I actually had gone to her before just for like a regular massage and somebody recommended her to me. Today's Monday, Monday, April 19th. Today I do have an appointment at 12. It is currently 11.32. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to my appointment. It's from a weird angle. It's not like the best angle, but look guys, literally all of this would have been flat right now. <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't have like, and it wasn't like super flat, but it was not this nice. <laughs> Obviously you can't tell like my, um, my waist because I have the padding. That's what it looks like so far. I recommend eating before you get your massages because man, whenever they're draining you out, you get so thirsty. It's like you reset and you're just so hungry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm eating real quick. This is what I wake up every single morning looking like. It looks like I got hit in the face.
Good morning. Um, so today is day six post-op and I'm walking without my walker as of now. I just ate. I didn't show you guys what I ate, but just literally something with no salt. Okay, so this is the one that I've been using. It's Te de Arnica. The little packets look like this. And then whenever you take it out, it looks like a regular tea bag. And I've also been adding these lymphatic drops to my... I'm gonna put a fourth of a teaspoon on there. Let you guys know. So if you try to like eyeball it, half of it is not just one eyedropper. Um, I literally look so busted <laughs> throughout this whole video, but this is my life now. Um, I am, I've never done this before until my BBL. So I'm eating a banana and I coated it with some peanut butter. This is my little nook. Um, I just put that over my feet and then my hands go right here. And I either watch Netflix or Disney Plus. So this is the first time that I've gone basically anywhere um, after my BBL surgery. I finally did my makeup and I put some clothes on. I feel super guilty right now because I'm not wearing my faja. I am wearing my ab board and like my padding though. I'm wearing leggings and just like a really loose shirt so nobody will be able to tell. But I wanted to show you guys how I drive. Whenever I'm at a stoplight, I um, kind of hold myself up so I won't be like applying too much pressure on even like my thighs i do have this in the back of my back for support and then i do have my booty pillow um so my butt is in the air so this is what it looks like my butt um obviously you can't see it but it's like in this little area right here hanging driving after getting a bbl is kind of dangerous honestly i try not to drive other than like obviously i need to go to work it is what it is we have to get going we have to you know go like back to normal and this is like the first step so so i am currently five weeks post-op and i'm not going to show you guys my full results like without my fahan without my padding because i am going to make a separate video surgery is literally a process a roller coaster and one day you'll be super swollen one day you'll be super skinny um one day you're gonna love your results one day you're gonna hate them and honestly right now where i'm at i absolutely love my results so i am going to give you guys a sneak peek of what i am currently looking like right now with my stage two faja and my padding and ab board um and then yeah make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for my next video turn those post notifications on so you can get notified when i do post my bbl reveal so this is what my stage two looks like with my ab boards and that's all i'm gonna give you guys so <laughs> <laughs> sorry okay so i really hate to do this to you guys but i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here like i said i am five weeks post-op and i'm gonna be updating you guys in a separate video of what my body and results look like as of today i did kind of want to do it like a separate video because because i wanted for this to be like my experience right after surgery and then i want to do a bbl reveal so make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all social media so you guys can keep up with my progress and results make sure to click the notification bell so you can get notified every single time that i post a new video and my next video is going to be my bbl reveal so thank you guys all so 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 much for watching please don't hate me because i did this to you guys but i will see you guys in my next one and it's gonna be a good one so bye bye